Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can debug a lambda function executing in AWS live from within your Sigma IDE. So first of all, I'm going to create a new project, debug demo live and open it within my Sigma IDE. And as you can see, a test environment has already been created and deployed for me. So let me show you what this means. I'm going to define a variable message body and assign hello world to it and include a console log and you can see the auto completion and other standard features of any IDE available to me. Next I'm going to create a test event to test my lambda function and it's going to be an empty event. I don't need any payload for this. I'm just going to save that event and run it from within my web browser and this lambda function executes on AWS and I can see the hello world uh, or output directly under my code at the Sigma trail so I don't need to go to CloudWatch or look at any other thing or any other window and if I want to change this to say hello world 2 I straight away change the code no need to build bundle remote deploy or anything I can see the lambda function in action so I'm going to show you the drag and drop features of the Sigma IDE next and for this I'm going to drag SQS from my left hand palette and drop it into my code and I can either select a new key uh, or create uh, or use an existing queue. Uh, so let me select the existing queue named SQS and select the operation as put message and for the message payload I can directly select the variable message body which is in scope and when I say inject, the code required to publish to this SQS topic has been already created for me. So what I'm going to do is I can either customize this further, go back to the questions in the use interface, or I can customize this as I require at the code level. So there is no limitation on what I can do uh, at this point. So I'm going to change this to include the message payload and change the message to uh, published and I'm going to put a similar callback for the error scenario as well and make that log message make that return fail so if I execute this now it's going to execute on AWS and the hello world 2 is going to be written into the SQS queue and let me show that to you in my SQS queue. I can see hello world 2. Okay, I'm going to delete this now from the queue and show you how you can debug this lambda function live. So when I click this debug icon, it will inject the debugger line if it is not already there and present me with the URL to open to get into the debugger. And this will present me with the lambda function executing live on AWS and I can put a breakpoint, step through debug or do anything that is supported in the Chrome debugger. So I continue execution until my message body has been set and I change it here during the debug session and change it to hello live debug and I'm going to just let it execute to completion go back to my Sigma IDE and I can see hello live debug presented on the output and go back to my queue SQS and start polling for messages and I can see the hello live debug being shown here. So let me delete that as well and show you a couple of more features of the IDE. So if you want to add any dependencies you just click here and maybe search for signature or whatever you want to perform and select the um, npm library and the version you want and you can easily just by clicking this you can add this into your deployment bundle the library will be included in your project and uh, now I'm going to show you how I can trigger this lambda function through the API gateway so you can see that this icon is red the function trigger has not been set and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the API gateway and drop it into this line so that 
it will be set as a function trigger so I'm going to define the API as debug demo live and my resource path I'm going to define debug demo live just select the method as get and enable cause and set my deployment stage as dev and inject and that will set the trigger function trigger to the API gateway endpoint and now I'm going to do a full deployment and as part of this I will commit my code as well into a new git repository because I have already linked my github account with Sigma IDE and then it will move on to the deployment stage all the um, deployment aspects will be taken care of I just need to focus on my function even things like the minimum security policy has been generated as you can see the for the send uh, message operation so it's uh, very easy for the developer because he only has to focus on the logic of the function and that's what real serverless de development is supposed to be so uh, we can see the changes being performed on our behalf the lambda function uh, the IAM role being created the deployment resources everything uh, that needs to be done on behalf of this deployment will be taken care of by the Sigma IDE and the first deployment will take a little bit of time about a minute because it does a complete deployment to AWS but the good thing is subsequent deployments will be just a few seconds maybe around five seconds or so to update the live deployment on AWS because we have a, another feature called the quick deployment which I will show you next and once this is completed it will pre pre uh, present me the URL of the API gateway endpoint I'm just going to copy it and open the toolbox from within my uh, IDE paste this URL and directly invoke this and I should be able to see another hello world 2 message uh, in my SQS queue so let me pull that okay and I see that and so I have triggered the lambda function through the API gateway and this function has been completely deployed to AWS with all the security policies and everything so if I have made a mistake in my code say I don't want hello world 2 I just want hello world I don't have to do a complete deployment again I just click quick deploy and within a couple of seconds one two three the quick, quick deployment has completed I execute the function again and I can see just hello world being returned so the update has taken place and I go to SQS again and poll and I can see just hello world as my output so you can see that subsequent deployments um, are extremely fast and uh, I must say though if you change any of the resources like DynamoDB or S3 for example if you want to drag a DynamoDB uh, operation into the code you can select to use an existing table create a new table itself from within the Sigma IDE define the keys and then it will create it for you you don't have to manually create that resource from the AWS console again however if you change any of these resources you need to do uh, a complete deployment once again and one of the other uh, features of the Sigma IDE is the built-in capability to look at metrics of lambda functions so if you go uh, into the lambda functions you can see uh, the lambda functions that are um, available so let's just go to the function we deployed just now you can see the number of invocations the cost errors invocation durations and the log files so this is uh, done by keeping the statistics under your own AWS account so there is no third party gaining access to your AWS account or there is no data transfer from your AWS account to a third party so you do not have to worry about personal data uh, confidential information or anything and uh, everything will be done within your own AWS account as uh, Sigma ID does with the rest of the operations so everything within the Sigma ID is uh, itself serverless and it completely runs within your Chrome web browser or any of your other web browsers but the debugging capability is available only within Chrome 
and uh, you can sign up for an account and start being productive right away from day one you don't need any other software to be installed to bloat your computer or do anything at all you can just get started with your aws key pairs and your github credentials so that your github or bitbucket credentials so that your code can be saved as well thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this session